to me. If I must. Your reluctant succubus hails from the underworld, wizard. You do not. Why must you stand in our way? My order knows what is best for this realm. That is all you need to know, King. Succubus, attack! I... I... Now! No. Your companion has left you. Now you must actually fight for yourself. I've conquered small villages that put up a bigger fight. You have only to await your death, Conqueror. You will not defeat the dragon. I beg to differ. Brings you here, Fire Lizard. You represent your species well, human. Completely ignorant and full of hostility. Says the leader of an invading army. Though born in darkness, Dragonkind favors the light. Long have I watched from below, as my brothers and sisters have attempted peaceful homesteads in the middle world. Only to face constant threats from humanity. We seek a realm under the sun, here in Uberencia. You 
simply will not allow it. Dragons arrive to Operencia with nothing but fury and malice. You are no different. You are wrong, because I am different. I am the first to enter this realm with nothing but fury and malice. It is the only way. Can we kill him now? Yes. truly hope to resolve this matter with sheer brute force? It seemed to work for you. You still don't understand, do you? I suppose I never will. Attila's triumph cemented his legacy. The scourge of demons. Peace reigned until one day the great king died and with him order and unity. Attila's great battle was but a forgotten tale. Driven by vengeance, the underworld developed a new plan. With no strong leaders in Operencia, who would dare try to stop them from invading the middle world? Who, indeed?
Long ago and far away, a young farmer dreamed. A white stag, guiding him to a special place. Every night it returned as he slumbered. The same deer, the same hidden path, the same castle under a lake. His father knew this to be a sign. Surely the work of Choda Sarvash, a miraculous deer of legend. Reluctantly, he urged his son to follow the calling and to never look back. For he was a young farmer no more. The next morning, the young hunter admired the sunrise. He set forth on a journey he did not yet understand. His only guide, a vision that made him question his sanity. It would only get stranger from here. A sense of awe struck the young hunter as he approached the sunken castle. He had no explanation for the unnatural sight before him. A pathway led from the forest to the foot of the lake, and then through it? As he passed through the swirling wall of water, his wonder suppressed his fear. Each muddy step drew him closer to his destiny. Inside the gate sat the figure of a man against a pillar. He appeared unconscious, or worse. The young hunter thought him dead. He poked at the body with his flimsy blade, just to be sure. Ow! Hey, how did... who, uh... did you just poke me with a sword? How do I know I shouldn't have done more than just poke? You have nothing to fear from me, friend. I'm guessing you even have me to thank for entering this cursed castle in the first place. Well, you're not stealing my reward. I've already had enough taken from me today. Reward? Of course. You created the path in the lake? I possess... well, possessed... the magical amulet of Zotmund. And I went through hell to acquire it. The amulet's power opened up the entrance here. Thing is, it's no longer mine. As I entered this forsaken fortress, a wretched old man saw fit to pin me down with an arrow and steal it. And for good measure, he knocked me out with his bow just before he left with the amulet. The welt on your forehead is remarkable, yet you're basically unharmed. He seemed to take great care not to irrevocably harm you. Tell that to this irrevocable headache. Help me out, please. I think I'm alright. Well, good. Then you can tell me what you know about this place. Happily. I'll explain as we go. As we go? I wish you well, whoever you are. But I don't need you joining me. The name is Yoshka. I don't care what yours is. And I'm not joining you. You are joining me. That's not how this works. I'll just shut up and open that chest. Should be a key in there. Why would anyone lock this place up? There's nothing here but water. On the ceiling. And in the hallways.
Bad day for you, huh? That's a new one. If the legends are true, these were men once. Transformed by the curse that sank this stronghold. Condemned to serve King Breck until death. And I suppose this King Breck wants us dead? Him, the dragon. Does it matter who really? Dragon? Yeah, that dragon. Let's find a safe place to rest and we'll talk. Stay quiet for now. We may attract more Zoldek. Or worse. <laughs>